education was a common priority in the country's post-war reconstruction. In Naga, former Finance Secretary Jaime J. Hernandez, along with the three other lawyer friends, thought of starting a school to respond to the educational needs of Bicolanos. On July 1, 1948, Don Jaime's dream of a homegrown school accessible Bicol youth and comparable to those in Manila was realized with the birth of Nueva Cáceres Colleges after the Securities and Exchange Commission approved its Articles of Incorporation. The new school was first located at the old floor de Liza and Hernandez buildings. 24-7 Land Reclamation before these terms became vogue, attorney Antonio Sison already did this in transforming what was once a marshland into what it is now. From the reclaimed land eventually rose a museum, a library that initially housed more than 15,000 tomes and other buildings in the sprawling 3-hectare campus. Education Secretary Gregorio Hernandez Jr. approved the Charter of the University of Nueva Cáceres on December 15, 1954, the first in the Bicol region. Along with the rise of the university stature were the increase in the frenzy of activities, both academic and extracurricular in the campus. UNC students would distinguish themselves in various areas, from sports to academics. They topped the bar and board examinations, proving the founder's vision students can be at par, if not above their peers, anywhere else in the country, given the quality of education that UNC is giving. It was during the decade that torch of leadership of the university was passed on from Dr. Jaime Hernandez to his daughter, Dr. Dolores H. Ciso. constant was that UNC graduates continue the school's tradition of excellence. The 80s also saw passing of two of the university's founding pillars, Don Jaime Hernandez, July 11, 1986, and Attorney Antonio M. Cecil, November 22, 1989. The academic community paid tributes to their own administrators and people. The Fun du Siècle was a time for building on the foundation of the past. The Asporic alumni of the university came home, remembering from whence they came, the place they honor, and to which they also brought the alumni honor they gained. They thanked God, celebrated, and shared through to their alma mater's motto, non scole said Vite. The National Historical Commission recognized the important historical role of the University of Nueva Cáceres in education in the region when it installed a marker at the university entrance. On September 28, 2011, the UNC community mourned the passing of its second president, Dr. Dolores H. Ciso. In 2015, Ayala Education took over the management of the university and Mr. Alfredo I. Ayala became the third university president. Employment of the university graduate was a top priority. 
continuity of UNC's his vision and beyond. Dr. Faye Lea Patria M. Lauraya took the helm of the university as its fourth president. She envisions UNC as a nurturing university in Beagle, that is, generating knowledge and engaging the community for a better tomorrow's From first to number one, this is my commitment, and this is the UNC in my mind. President Faye Lea Patria M. Lauraya